What is going on everyone? My name is Shaq Mac and today I am back with another gameplay this time doing it a little bit different for this gameplay We are doing a duo gameplay with these two players from the frostbite collection Amethyst Dog Christie and Amethyst D Brown as you can see both evolutions both evos 292 and I've always had a small love for these evo cards because they outperform their rating in my opinion I feel like whenever I come up against some pretty decent evo cards like the Jeremy Lin that came out with the um, Jeremy Lin Spotlight series that you could get for free. The evolution is ridiculous on that card. That card plays out of its mind. Much like I think these cards will, as you can see here. One star evo for Doug Christie. I'm going to go through him quickly. Um, I think the stats are a little bit off. Well, maybe they're not. But he has a 94 defense, which is a good high defensive rating. And as you can see here, not the greatest driving layout, but he has a very nice jump shot. 84, uh, 84 close, close shot. Mid-range 92 and three-point shot is also a 92. Has a 79 ball handle, but that's okay. His defense is really, really, really good. 95 steel and 96, 96 perimeter defense is incredible. As as you know, I'm an, I'm a big lover for defensive stats. So for a card to have this good a steel and perimeter defense is unreal. Has some good speed, speed with ball and acceleration. Lateral quickness is high up there as well. A lot of good things that are upgraded due to his one-star Evo. A lot of him becomes really really good and as you can see he has he also has five hall of fame badges including hall of fame clamps which is really really good and defensive leader which i've learned is a very important badge to have as well he's got slippery off ball pickpocket lob city passer quick draw as well relentless finisher heart crusher interceptor corner specialist lightning reflexes catch and shoot pogo stick tireless defender trapper consistent finisher contact finisher fancy footwork slithery finisher flexible release green machine and hot zone hunter all in the goals as well as a couple silvers including dimer overall a lot of really good stuff for this Doug christie now let's see his little dynamic do i guess you could say he came out with him they both go to an amethyst evolution in d brown this card 89 offense 84 defense i'm not sure if that's correct considering he is a amethyst and at a 92 so i don't think that's the right stats for him this dude has a 90 driving layup an 89 draw foul close shot of a 92 mid-range of an 82 and three point of an 89 so both both of these dudes have some pretty good three-point stats 19 89 respectively except d brown he has been he has been in the dunk contest before he has a very nice driving dunk at a 96 his ball handle pass iq pass accuracy all in the 90s or close to the 90s or high 80s d brown's uh defense is pretty good as well He's got an 84 steel and an 85 perimeter defense, which is important for him. And all 88s for speed, speed with ball and acceleration. Lots of little good things for both these cards here that can hopefully help them produce some good numbers in this game. And as you can see with his Hall of Fame badges and his gold badges, he has quick first step, showtime, difficult shots and fast break finisher. Mainly fast break orientated Hall of Fame badges. He has gold badges including relentless finisher, lob city finisher. He has clamps as well, so that'll be helpful for both of them. He has pogo stick as well. Contact finisher and consistent finisher. Acrobat, giant slack, corner specialist. He's got downhill, needle throw to catch and shoot. Space creator, green machine, Otto hunter. Quick draw and range extender. This card has gold range extender. No clue why. I mean... Sure, we'll take it. D-Brown can dunk and shoot from deep. So, I mean, that's very helpful as well as a gold volume shooter. So, overall, I think D-Brown edges out uh, Doug Christie in terms of overall stats. But they're both very, very good. They're both very good in their own respects. Now, without further ado, I'm going to get into the shoot around uh, part of this video. And hopefully... They both have decent releases. Now I'm going to try and make this quick with both of them. As you can see here, Doug Christie, his jump shot is not bad. He does have a little bit slower jump shot, I think, because I have actually, obviously, in order to get them to this point, you do have to Evo them, and I've done that manually with both of them. I pulled Doug Christie from a pack. I only pulled one pack. No, test my luck. Got this Doug Christie, and was able to evolve him, so I'll get him back for a pack's price. And I was able to get my Deep Brown, who was a Sapphire at the time, for 700 MT. So I'm going to get a good 16K profit, 16, 15 k profit, from that D brand if I do decide to sell him. But this dude, Doug Christie, has a nice jump shot. Unfortunately, only two out of the five three-point hot zones, which I guess sucks, but this dude has such a big green window. I don't know if it's just the the what we're in right now or the fact that his jump shot is just that easy to release. His jump shot is just so nice. As he does have that 93-point shot, I think it may definitely be a big factor as to why he can shoot so well. Now I'm going to switch to D Brown here, take our first shot with him, and it knocked that one down as well. 89 three-point shot for this dude. So not as big a green window, but more hot zones. Four out of five right there, I just checked. He 
Oh, I wouldn't say he doesn't feel a lot more smoother. His, his shot is definitely faster, but Doug Christie's felt a lot smoother. This dude feels a little bit clanky, but that's all good. Because D Brown wasn't really known for how well he could shoot. He was known for his dunks, and as you can see there, that is pretty flashy. That's not too bad. We can do a little hop step straight through. Bang, like that. At a point guard, six foot one, I think he is. 160 pounds to be able to have these dunking animations is ridiculous and now as they're both amethysts I'm planning to also have an amethyst player alongside with these guys to you know come up against a bit easier opponents I don't want to come up against Giannis every single game So without further ado I am going to go to the starting lineup and show you who that other amethyst will be along with us in the starting lineup Bang this is the team we're going to be going into triple threat online with as you can see that person that I was talking about before is Marcus Morris Sr. I do like the card a lot. He can grab boards. His jump shot is easy to time. He's a very good spot-up shooter. When I'm doing gameplays like this, I love to have spot-up shooters with me. And I think a full Amethyst lineup with a spot-up shooter like Marcus Morris will be able to help us get some pretty good wins. Now, obviously, our two main priorities for this gameplay are going to be D Brown and Doug Christie. We're going to be sharing that ball around. Hopefully, we can both get a 21-point game with both of these guys. I think that would be my main aim for this. But I'm pretty confident confident that we'll be able to come out with some pretty strong games so either either of them i think will do really really well in the whole um triple threat online scene because d brand can shoot and dunk Joe christie can shoot and play defense a good three and d guy all these guys have their roles out there which i think they will be able to ro uh, run with really really well anyways without further ado i'm going to stop waffling and let us get into these gameplays and i think we're pretty safe for this video but i don't want to jinx myself no Yannis's. No Yannis's. All right, let's go. Game number one, we are up against a Pink Diamond Demar, Pink Diamond James Worthy, and a Diamond Anthony Davis. Of course, I come up against one of these. I lagged out of a game before, which was supposed to be my game one, where I came up against a Trey, I Pink Diamond Trey Young, Ruby Clay Thompson, and a Emerald Boban. And so they've lagged me out, said, nope, you're not allowed to have that. You have to come up against this team. If we can pull out a win here, that'd be very impressive by these fellas, but I don't expect too much, so I'm going to try my best to make it work. I can't expect anything easy here. have to clamp up here. Good defense, Marcus Morris. We are going out, hitting up Doug Christie, hitting up D Brown, going straight towards the basket. Can we get him to jump? Nope, he's getting the animations there. That's all good. Doug Christie, straight through, back out. D, D Brown, knock it down in his face. That's a full white glitch. Not the greatest start that I wanted here. We're going to step back. D Brown's making him go the other way. Beautiful play there by D Brown. We're getting Pink Diamond Demar to start running away, so that's good. The vibes I'm getting from these cards are definitely budget baller cards. Like, obviously, you wouldn't expect to see them in many people's god squads. But for sure, he is a very, very good card. I'm going to get there. 8% covered. Beautiful. D Brown with a rebound. We're going out. Going straight through. D Brown has found himself a wide open lane to the basket. Nice. That's what we like to see. D Brown straight past DeMar DeRozan. He's not paying attention. D Brown's managing to absolutely carry this team on, the, on his back right now. He's managing to get just three lanes to the basket. He's... Playing too picky. He's trying to steal the ball as I pass it and it's not working for him. All right, let's run a pick and pop. Doug Christie, Marcus Morris. Beautiful fine. Knock it down, Marcus. Nice, nice. Doug Christie running that pick and roll. I believe he does have silver dimer, so that helps out a little bit. Watch a step back. Right there. Beautiful stuff, D Brown. 96% contest. We're going out. Hit Doug Christie. Stop. A bit too far out for him. He doesn't have range extender, I don't think. I think that's D Brown. Going Doug Christie, though. Then we kick to D Brown. Knock it down for me. Ah, that's all good. Marcus Morris getting boards for us, surprisingly. Oh, Doug Christie. Okay, that was an interesting move. Very interesting. We'll take that, though. Making him jump. Can't get anything wide open from those, though. That's the only problem. There we go. Marcus, knock it down. Beautiful stuff. Okay, that flexible release from Marcus Morris. His spot-up shooting is very, very helpful right now. I just need a D up here. The only problem is D Brown is so small that all he's doing... Is going over the top of him. That's a bad shot. And we can't get the boards. And Anthony Davis has got a wide open shot from that. That's full white glitch though. And again, can't hit that. That's all good. And he's just posting up. Yep. At the moment, it's very hard to get a proper stop on defense. Because if we do manage to make a miss, then he's immediately grabbing the boards. And that's all good though. Because D Brown is coming back and just scoring every single time. D Brown is a very, very good budget baller card right now. I'm enjoying using him. Got that. Oh my goodness. 2K. Get that. There we are. Don't cut through. Back. Marcus Morris. Oh, of course. I get the steal and I immediately get punished for it. Oh, that's just how 2K goes. You do something good and 2K is just going to give it right back to him. Doug Christie, come here. We're going straight around. D Brown, straight through. Doug Christie, warm up, jump shot, green light, beautiful stuff. Okay, let's just keep going back and forth. Just can't be giving up any threes. That's the only thing. And I think we can do that. 
I'm right there, though. Doug Christie's steal it rating is just so damn high, man. Woo! We're going easy dunks. Doug Christie is a really good defensively. That, 90, that high 90 steal makes things so easy for him. Oh, and of course, he greens a three on the next next chance he gets. That's so good. We're going D Brown. I need to just think about... I just need to be thinking when I see that score that he obviously wants a three and he immediately goes to off-balling. Of course, he does. Real legend here is we're making Marcus Morris cut. And he gets the block. Of course he does. We're going out. Oh, of course. Because when things are going bad, you just quickly off-ball. Quick off-ball. That's it, though. Doug Christie finishes off the game. That's a very good win. Very, very good win. 21 to 19 against a team like that. Diamond Anthony Davis. Di uh, Pink Diamond DeMar DeRozan. And a Pink Diamond James Worthy. Very, very good win. Forcing up a lot of bad shots. They did horribly. We're very, 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 very good on defense and pretty efficient as well. Uh, 0 for 1 from Mark Marcus Morris from the 3. 1 for 3. 3 pointer we could have been a bit better, I think. 2 for 5, 40% isn't terrible, but at the same time, in 2Ks, our uh, whole system, not too good. Doug Christie with a very good game, though. 2 steals, 2 assists, 8 points. Was just all over the place in that game. Very, very good. D Brown, 9 points, 1 rebound, 2 assists. Was definitely leading the offense, I think, though. So let's get into the next game. Alright, now this clip needs a little bit of context before it starts. So basically what had happened is I had played three more games before this game that you're about to see right now. All three of them, I came up against a pink diamond Giannis Antetokounmpo. Not just him, but one that he only hop-stepped and he only off-balled. That three games in a row. Just letting, you, just letting you know before you see this clip. And I think that'll get you to understand why. Another Giannis! What the fuck is going on? I've come up against four Giannis in a, in a row with a full Amethyst lineup. Uh, I'm so lost right now. How does this keep happening? Holy fuck. And I guarantee you they're getting every animation because it's literally a team purely based off animations. I can't come up against one motherfucker who doesn't use Giannis. D, please lead me to glory. Please, I need it so bad. Fuck's sake. Christy, stick. Knock it down, please, please, please. Yes! <laughs> Let's go, Christy. Beautiful stuff. Oh, come on! I can't even get a, a contest animation right now. I'm not even mad at this point. I'm pretty sure he knows how fucking BS this game has been so far. Woo, D Brown! Let's go. That's a beautiful pull up. Ugh. I'm fucking concentrating so hard because I do not want to lose to another fucking Pink Diamond Giannis. I'm gonna- I, I swear to God. Hey, hey, watch it. No, that's off. Yes, let's go. Let's go, D. Come on. Out, Doug Christie. Stop. Going over, Marcus. Come on, knock it down. Green light in the corner, baby. Come on, we're not letting this motherfucker win. We are not letting him win. Right there. That is a horrific shot. Thank you. D Brown, we're going out. Stop. Pop. Knock it down, please. Ah, uh, nope, and he's gonna shoot it with Jeremy Lin. <laughs> Why would I think he'd go for the easy, easy drive? Why would I think he'd do it? Oh, I wanted him to jump so bad, but D Brown's managed to make him go everywhere. That was why would, did that go slower? I don't know why, but Marcus Morris is still knocking him down. I don't know why, but Marcus Morris's shot like took a little bit extra just to warm up and actually start going. Jeremy, stop running around the goddamn side! I swear to God, get out, D Brown! Oh, I'm being pushed away by fucking Giannis. Oh, I tried running back out to Jeremy Lin and Giannis was just there. His big fucking body wouldn't let me past him. Come on, D Brown. Straight past your defender. Get that animation. Oh, 2K. You make me lose this and I swear to God. How? Marcus, why did you not decide to contest at all? You're already fucking playing help, and help defense. Now all of a sudden it's no good. Is he really? Okay, good. I was going to say, is he fucking off balls? I swear to God. Doug Christie dunk it over the top of all of them. Come on. I believe that we can win this. I believe that I can win this. I'm not going to have... I'm not going to stop recording because of four Giannis's in a row. I'm not doing it. Bad shot. Wide open my fucking ass! Hell in the goddamn shit! What the fuck was that? Step back. Come straight through. D Brown. Go past Jeremy Lin. He can't stop you. We're going back out. Doug Christie, this is where you need to shine, baby. Let's go. This is a knockdown three. Doug Christie, come on. D up on Jeremy Lin. Do not let him shoot any threes. He's going to step back. I see that coming from a mile away, buddy. Are you serious, 2K? Are you serious? You're just giving him random lob animations too? God damn, Giannis. Step back. His controller is dead. Knock it down while I have the chance. Yes, let's go. Let's go. We beat him while he was fucking lacking. I don't give a shit, man. I've come up against so many dumb Giannis's. I am sick and tired of playing him. Holy mother of fuck. Oh, that couldn't have... That felt so good. <laughs> Let me check the game stats for that. 
three for three, two for two from Doug Christie. He played exceptionally well. Judy Brown, three for five, two for three. Marcus Morris, two for two, both of them. Oh, oh, that felt good. Only missing two shots is a good feeling, especially after the games I've had before. I came up against two Pink Diamond off-balling, hop-stepping Giannis's in a row. I just didn't include them. One, because I lagged out of one of the games, and two, because how are you supposed to beat that? How are you supposed to beat someone who has every animation working for them? If, if it seems like I'm very happy as to how the game went, it's because I am. I'm very happy. Doug Christie and D Brown are both very good defenders. Doug Christie, I've noticed, I can time a shot a bit better than D Brown, but D Brown's just so explosive. Anyways, that's as much as I'm going to do for this gameplay with these two. I'd love to play more games, but there's only so many. There's only so many games you can play against bloody. Pink Diamond Giannis, and the, all the opponent does is off-ball and hop-step. Sure, they did play well in those games, but you can't get a good gameplay. It's not entertaining coming up against someone who, who only knows how to go square. Oh, well, there's Mark Eaton. Who only knows how to go square and dunk, and doesn't, and wants to be fucking lazy as shit on the defensive end. Man, that last game felt very good, though. Overall, these two have a lot of good things. Doug Christie's defense is... Phenomenal. I love his defense. It's really really good and D Brown's just explosiveness Explosiveness and athleticism as well is extremely good I really like both of them as budget ballers and D Brown I was able to pick up for 700 and then just grind it out myself to get an amethyst this good for 700 MT is ridiculous um, And Doug Christie I think at the moment to get his ruby I don't know how much it is. Wow. Okay I'm finding Doug Christie's less for less than a thousand MT by now well, that's ridiculous. For that good of a card, is very good. 900 MT to get yourself a Doug Christie at a Ruby. Just to follow them up yourself, play a few domination games. It literally 300 points and 20 steals is not that hard to do for Doug Christie. I guarantee you, you'll be able to get, you'll be able to evolve this card in no time. Maybe in like two, three hours. You get a card who can not only clamp up on defense, but has a knockdown shot. He's very, very good. Only thing is he can't ball handle, but that's fine for some people. Spot up shooters, especially for budget ballers. Spot up shooters are beautiful. And I was able to uh, put a bid on, like I said before, I was able to put a bid onto my D Brown and was able to get him for 700 MT. So in total, this duo, this double amethyst duo costs you 1,600 MT. Potentially less depending on how lucky you get. But this duo is really, really good. I 100% suggest getting this duo. Both of them can shoot the three. Both of them can clamp up. They're very, very, very good budget baller cards that I definitely suggest you guys picking up. Anyways, guys, if you did enjoy the video, please be sure to leave a like, comment down below, any video ideas, suggestions, and constructive criticism. I'm always down there responding to comments. And subscribe to the channel if you are new. Unfortunately, for our monthly goal of January, we were only able to get to uh, 296 subscribers, which is absolutely fine. We had a lot of growth in the month, although I really did want to hit it, and I was a little bit disappointed that I wasn't able to get it. I'm still very, very happy with how the month went. And if you could subscribe, our next goal, I don't care if we didn't reach our last month, my next goal for this month is to hit 400. Obviously a lot more difficult, but I think I can be able to do it. Anyways guys, thank you all so much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one. Goodbye.